family how are you are doing it's me your girl esther i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all doing great i'm personally fine like you can see so if you are watching me for the first time my name is esther i'm a youtuber based in zurich switzerland so today i'm just here to run to say some things that i've said before two weeks ago three weeks ago i did an ls and i treated it extensively i looked at the 40 life lessons that i personally learned from an eight a 95 year old woman so today i'm here to share those lessons i'm not here to explain them if you want to watch those videos if you want to see me explaining them teaching them in my own element watch till the end click the videos i'm going to link them in the description box or i'll put them at the end so that you can watch it maybe when you are cooking just run the video it was a fun video i had some content creator join me and we just discussed but today on this video i'm just going to be stating them and that's it 40 life lessons in our journey in this life we all need this life lesson we need to be reminded because sometimes we get carried away and this life lesson sometimes we see them flying around but it doesn't sink so I want you to watch this video, observe this point, look at the ones you have been doing, look at the ones you have to intensify on and let it sink in. Guys, life is good. Life is beautiful. Live in the moment. So let me just go into the video so that I don't take your time. So these are the 40 life lessons from an 85-year-old woman. The first one is life is not fair, but it is good. Yes, life is not fair, but it is good. The second one, number two. Number two is... When in doubt, just take the next step. When you don't know what to do, when you are confused, when you are disappointed, when something happened to you, if you are in doubt, listen to your inner man and take the next step. Don't be stagnated. Don't sit down and be saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Just take the next step. Number three, life is too short to waste time hating anyone. This life is too short. You don't want to finish this life and get to heaven and realize that you were hating on someone that was not even thinking about you so think about it life is too short for you to be hating anyone don't hate on anyone i guess you can do is when you feel offended call the person talk to the person if the person agreed and if they don't you just move keep moving keep moving number four is don't take yourself too serious sometimes you take yourself too serious i'm here to remind you that you shouldn't take yourself too serious so when you see me laughing sometimes like a teenager i don't take myself serious it doesn't mean that we don't have issues i used to do that but now hearing it from a 95 year old i know that it's so serious and i shouldn't take myself serious so you that you're watching me too don't take yourself serious but have you subscribed to this have you subscribed to my channel if you have not just click the subscribe button and if you have subscribed click the notification bell so that you can be the first person to hear the background when i drop a video so don't take yourself serious number five you don't have to win every argument you don't have to agree with everybody some people have won an argument and they lost the friendship some people have won an argument and they lost a job you go to a job your boss tells you something you are arguing you don't have to win every argument sometimes just keep moving number six cry with someone it's okay to cry and when you cry with someone your healing comes fast don't be the superwoman oh i'm strong don't be the superman with all the ego learn to cry with someone number seven save for retirement i can't say this enough make sure you are saving even if you are a sit at home mom you are a single mom you are a petty trader whatever level saving is the key save even if it's one franc per month even if it's two franc per year two dollar per year just make sure you are saving something you have children your children are going to go they are going to go to school save we are in abroad first name i'm in switzerland time for um, um winter there are four seasons of the year so you learn to plan you learn to save for those periods save save don't wait till that time when you are broke and just save save some money that even if the heavens are falling you know that this one who is for this particular reason women do that a lot but for men if you're a man watching this video i encourage you also learn to save don't give everything you see i'm I, i'm emphasizing it because as a people the black community we we don't save we eat everything we party on everything please let's learn to save number eight says um make with your past so so it won't 
who your future or your present something that happens in your past let's it live in your past don't bring your 14 years ago to your present and be using it to affect everybody let the past remain in the past number nine say it's okay to let your children see you cry you know i said it before it's okay to cry and when it comes to children also it's okay let your children see your vulnerability let them know when mommy is broke let them know when something is happening to you let your children cry with you if they want to cry with you don't keep holding it number 10 don't compare your life to others you have no idea what their journey is please don't compare your life to other people's life you're on your journey face your journey you can see people you can admire what they are doing learn from them but don't sit down and compare yourself because comparison will steal your joy i want to guide our joy even as we journey towards the destiny so 11 says if every relationship has to be secret, then you don't have to be in that relationship. Yes, as a single lady, if the guy is telling you, oh, I'm so private, I don't want anybody to know about us, double check. Even if you're married and your husband is that type that I was always saying, don't put my picture, don't put my picture, double check. I'm not saying some men, some men just like to be at the background, but if it's causing problems, just double check. So it says, if your relationship has to be secret, you don't have to be in that relationship number 12 life is too short for long pity parties don't sit down and be pitying somebody something happens cry well but keep moving don't sit down number 13 says a writer writes if you want to be a writer write a writer write these are lessons that we shouldn't joke with so if you want to be a writer make sure you are writing have a journal number 14 says it's never too late to have a happy childhood but the second one is up to you it also says don't take yourself too serious so if there's anything that you didn't get as a child you can recreate those moments we create and when i did it in my ls we said as moms when we take our children out we should just get involved in the play i'm not here to explain it if you want the full explanation check the video at the end number 15 says when it comes to Going after what you love, don't take no for an answer. That's number 15. Number 16, burn the candles, use the night sheet, wear the fancy lingerie. Don't save it for a special day. You know, some of us, we have some, some lingeries that is for the special occasion. Who says you cannot wear it every other day? Who says you have some dresses? No, this one is a church dress. Who says, no, 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 you can do anything you want to do. Don't wait for special days because you never know what might happen. It's number 19, over prepare. 19 says over prepare, then go with the flow. When you are going to show up for a meeting, it's better for you to over prepare. If you are going for an interview, it's better for you to over prepare, then show up. Don't go there and not being sure of what you're going to be saying. So it's a live lesson we need to keep, we need to keep um, practicing. Now, number 20 says, be eccentric now. Don't wait for the old age. Do whatever you want to do. If you want to jump from the sky, do it now. If you want anything you want to do, make sure you are doing it now. Number 21 says, the most important sex organ is the brain. Yes. So for those women that say, I don't like sex, sex is this, sex is that, start the sex from your brain. It's the most important sex organ. No baby talk, is a lesson I learned and I'm trying to inculcate it. The next one says, no one is in charge of your happiness except you make sure you are creating your happiness i know most of us know this already but make sure you do it more because actually nobody is in charge of your happiness no 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 not one the next one says frame every so-called disaster with this word in five years will it matters anything that happens to you today and you think is a big deal in five years will it really matter if it's not going to matter just let it go so the next one says forgive one forgive everyone Forgive everyone. If I forgive people in advance, it makes your mind settle. It makes you look young also. Next one says, time heals almost everything. Give yourself time. Give yourself time. Don't cry over spilled milk. If there's something that seems so big now and you think it's, it's so massive, just give yourself time. With time, that won't be real. The next one says, however good or bad a situation is, it will change. Next one says, your job will not take care of you when you are old. So while you are young, make sure you are keeping, your job will not take care of you when you are old. Keep in touch with your friends. Keep in touch with your family members. Guys, hope you are getting it. 
we are gradually coming to the end keep watching thank you if you have watched this moment if you haven't if you haven't subscribed make sure you click the subscribe button so the next one says the next one says believe in miracle believe in miracle i want to emphasize something we always say some things that um no, the Bible says the expectation of the righteous will not be cut short. So make sure you believe in miracles while you are showing up, while you are doing your best. Believe in miracles and keep expecting the best. Make sure your mind is attracting and is expecting the best. Because the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. The next one says, get outside every day and um, wait for every good opportunity that will come your way yes I, I just need to throw that in to emphasize what i'm trying to say get outside every day miracles are waiting for you miracles do happen and the next one says your child your children get only one childhood make it count make the, ch the childhood of your children count don't say because you did not enjoy your childhood you will not make your children's childhood count make it count i know every parent wants to do that and i pray that god will keep strengthening us to keep doing it the next one says if every if we all throw our problems in a pile and saw everyone's his own everybody else will grab their own so if you think you have a big problem if a tells you our own b tells you and you'll see that you don't even have a problem in the first place the next one says don't audit your life show up make the most of it now don't audit your life don't say because you want to marry because you are 30 and you did not get married then you will now post don't say because you did not have all your five children before you were 40 don't audit your life take one step at a time guys we are gradually coming to the end the next one says get rid of anything that isn't useful that isn't beautiful and that isn't joyful joy has a joy has a face negativity as negativity also have a face joy is beautiful negativity is ugly so that point really says get rid of anything that isn't useful that isn't beautiful or that doesn't bring about joy so the second to the last says all that all that truly matters in the end is you so love yourself guys make sure you are loving yourself envy is a waste of time you already have all it takes you have all it takes in you so don't bother envying anybody the best is yet to come the best is yet to come no matter how you feel get up dress up and show up take a deep breath it calms the mind as a mom those moments you are angry just take a deep breath it calms the mind if you don't ask you won't get make sure you are getting make sure you are asking if you ask you will always get let it be on record that you asked and you did not get that that you just shone your mouth and you didn't bother to ask life isn't tied with a bow but it is a gift that is the note on that note i'll leave you today to know that life is a gift it is not tied with a bow but it is a gift thank you if you have watched till this time you are the real vip so like i said i did expansion of all this point i explained them in bits with examples so check those two videos in my in my description box or i will link them so that you can check it so like come your way next time it's your girl esther make sure you are living your best life life does not come in a bowl life isn't tied with a bowl but it is a gift wake up show up i hope these lessons these um, lessons from the old will remind you the beauty of life and you will appreciate each day you live so till i see you in my next video it's your girl esther thank you to everyone that will be sharing this video to everyone that will be liking it i love you god bless you everything you put your hand will work in jesus name amen bye bye